Hello guys, this is Pika10 and this is welcome to your... I don't know what it is actually, I've been so long since I made the last one, it's something scripting tutorial and in the last tutorial I promised you that we would be making a nuke in this tutorial. You may be asking how the hell can I make a nuke from just what we've learnt. You can make a very basic nuke, it won't be able to harm anyone yet, we'll cover that later, but we will be building this nuke to make it absolutely amazing later. It won't be able to harm anyone or do anything it can except grow. But if you are a genius and you've picked up on scripting really, really quickly, then you would be able to make what we've what we're doing in this tutorial already. But I'm just showing you how to um, use what we've learnt in a, a practical situation rather than just creating random test scripts. Now the first thing I'm gonna need to do is actually get the nuke brick. Now I'm using Snagit 10, which means going to be quite laggy so hopefully I can move this camera oh it's like stuttering but it does work so I'm going to leave it here first thing we need to do is of course make the whoa is it just frozen? Right. we need to click on the toolbox icon it's changed we just need to insert a normal brick we've got a normal brick we don't want it to be uh, barely any bricks in Roblox nukes bricks barely only nukes and roblox of um squares so we should make it a ball balls have really really bad collision detecting you may not know what that means it means it can't detect when they're actually being hit by anything so spheres are bad um for detecting it my other nukes i've made a square brick that grows and hits people but just looks like a circle, so you could be miles away from it, but you still get harmed. We are going to be using that today, just so I can show you how to do something else. So we'll be using this brick. We'll change the colour to um, some yellow. You should know how to do this already. That's a rubbish colour for a nuke. Um, that one. I, let's have which which one. I think I'll stick with. Ah, I'll leave it with this for now. Uh, most nukes are partly transparent, so I'll set its transparency to 0 0.3. Nah, that doesn't look right. Uh, that looks about right. Now, to get it to look like a circle, but a uh, sphere, but isn't, go insert object, and this will come up. We want special mesh at the moment. Okay. In make sure the brick was selected before you did that. By the way, if you're wondering why it wasn't working. In the properties you see mesh type, just click on that and it'll click sphere and let's resize it so it gets a suitable length. There we go. Actually I'll make our nuke small to start with. There we go, let's make it there because at in this tutorial by the end of this all it's gonna do is grow. It's not gonna to kill anyone but hopefully it'll grow without glitching at the moment yeah, this is fine now since roblox increased their new um, stud thing apparently i haven't actually tested it but you're going to need to set your the form factor of the brick to custom i'm not sure why because i haven't used this for so long but in your properties menu just find form factor under the part you won't be able to see this, but then just click custom and it would work. So now we've got our part built, let's just name it nuke. Um, we should insert a script into it. This is going to probably be a quick tutorial on how to do this. I believe I've covered loops with you. So we go insert, object and script. Double click on this, I'm going to zoom in so you can actually see. Hopefully that's far enough away. Right, the first thing it's going to do, what does a nuke need to do? It needs to grow bigger. How do you think we're going to do that? We're going to use a loop, of course. So, this we want our loop to never stop growing. So we're going to just going to use a while, true, do. Um, let's put the end in now so I don't forget it later. I'm going to put a tab. Of course, we don't need a true there because as weight returns doesn't return false or nil, it assumes it's true. So when it does this line, it's gonna wait whoops. It's gonna wait one it's gonna wait 
one frame, which is the smallest amount possible on Roblox. It's for something like 0 0.3 seconds. And it also does the loop infinitely. So we don't need to worry about it crashing for not for, if we don't forget a weight. So the nuke is script.parent. So what I'll do now is put nuke equals script dot parent. So from that we can just say nuke to grow it. Right. To make a brick grow, we can set its size property to something higher. So if we type nuke dot size equals and I believe I've covered a vector threes with you already. I think I have in my introduction to properties video. I think. Um, if you don't know, then pay attention. Just change the size. You type vector three dot new, and let's just get the brackets there. But at the moment, we don't want to set it to a random size. So if we go new dot size equals one, it's just going to change to one, isn't it? Every 0 0.3 seconds, it's going to change to um, 1, 1, 1. We don't want that. We want it to grow bigger. So if we change the nuke size to... Ha that was phrased badly. If you think about how we can actually add the size to this size, that didn't make sense at all, but hopefully you understand. How would you make the nuke add 0 0.1 to its size every time? So put Nuke size equal the same as its size. So it's going to equal the same as its size. That's just going to set it to itself every 0 0.3 seconds. Plus, with this plus sign. And then another one, vector 3.new. And let's make it go slower 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So now we've done that, every 0 0.3 seconds. It's going to increase the nuke size by 0 0.1, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. So if I go back to this tab, I'm going to save the place and press play. Bricks are going to grow by 0 0.1 every 0 0.3 seconds. Ah, uh, this is really slow, I know. And do nukes usually grow upwards like that? Do they usually just start bouncing? Like that. Oh, I haven't heard the noises. Ah, oh, those must be the new sounds. But does it usually do that? Because on it, it's just roundly bouncing. No, they don't. So, if you're wondering, I'm not sure if I've covered this yet, but we need to anchor the brick. If we anchor the brick, it won't. It won't move. So you press play, and it will still um, go above the surface. Because every time it tries, it is actually um, not moving so it's not going to bounce as much but it's still going to um, having spasms because of Roblox's environment so I press rewind let's go into the new game how do you think we can solve this? we want it to reset itself to the position it was in at the beginning every every time it grows bigger so let's to clarify that we tell the script what it is at the beginning. So, pos its C frame. It will change. It will reset its C frame to the same to its original C frame every time, which is basically its position and rotation. Is that going to work? Yes, this is the one that works. It does no longer bounces. It just stays in the ground. Fantastic. So, it's still going quite slowly. If we put another brick here, do you think it will push the brick? What do you think will happen? Just guess whether, whether it will push the brick or just go straight through or what? It's going to go straight through. What do you think that's for? The brick is attached to the ground with studs. So if I move this upwards and just smooth the bottom of the whoops and smooth the bottom of the brick like that and now press play it's going to fall down straight away but the nuke is going to push it because it's not connected to anything but what nukes just decide to okay it's not going to push it apparently it's just gonna 
Oh, I remember having this problem before. If you anchor brick, it won't seem to move any other bricks either. If you unanchor it, which won't make a difference because we've already made a... Not that script. Why do we that script there? Just delete that. This script. We've already got it resetting itself to original position, which is just as good as anchoring it. Just more stuttery, if you want. Then we unanchored it. And I can't remember if I remember. It's going to stutter a bit more because it's not anchored. But it's going to push the brick. So most nukes are now like this. It's not the best, but Roblox doesn't... You can't make nukes very well in Roblox like this. But this is how we're doing it. So it's still working fine. And we, to, to simply um, make it go faster, we can just increase this. So let's just make a speed variable. So speed equals 1 the speed of the nuke. If you use double dash it comments by the way, I'm not sure if I taught you that. Um, so it'll just ignore this piece of code completely. So, but so if we put speed, 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 oops someone's knocking on my door, and <clears throat> it will reset, it will increase the size by the amount that speed is. So actually, I'll just speed divided by ten. This is how you do divide, by the way. Speed divided by ten. Speed divided by ten. Whoops! I just delete the bracket. Yep. So if I do that, that will do a bit one. But if I increase, I'm going to increase the speed to five. That means five divided by ten is zero point five. So this will go considerably faster. Let's play. And woohoo, it's moving really quickly, but you can hear loads of clattering sounds. Um, that finishes this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll be going into functions and the ways you can use them. So the next tutorial, custom functions, this, that's the place where most people quit scripting. It's one of the hardest things to understand, functions and return values and stuff. That's where most people quit scripting and resort to bad free-modeled obbies. So... I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I know lots of people wanted me to do it because they kept posting comments on my videos and sending me messages on Twitter. Um, when this gets 50 views, I'll make the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.